my father murdered his ex-wife. He murdered her. He calculated, he planned, he plotted for six months. And he killed her. Shooters on the line. Is the, line ready? the day, the hour, the moment is forever in the mind of Susan Murphy Milano. I knew something was wrong. I went over to the house. And uh, when I realized that there was a body on the kitchen floor. And what had happened? Uh, my mother had been shot at close range by my father. And my father had locked himself in the bedroom and at close range put uh, the gun right up to his head at his temple, forehead, and died instantly. And I, I found them. And we had to pick up a woman, approximately 25 years in age, three kids. Jackie, as we'll call her, had taken her three children to a friend's house. Hola. Oh, hola. Susan will move them to a shelter in secrecy. And that's when he shot my oldest daughter. He shot her? He shot her in the side of her knee. 11-year-old Sandra spent a month in the hospital. That's when Susan entered the case. They never even gave me their names. What changed for you when you met Susan? I felt protected. She assured me that I would have 24-hour protection until he was caught. Have you? Yes. Somewhere in this quiet neighborhood, in a building we can't show you, is an apartment whose location is a closely guarded secret. It's one of several safe houses donated for the use of Susan's clients. He tried to strangle me in front of my three-year-old daughter, and he uh, physically abused my infant, and um, that was the last straw. So what sort of precautions do you take every day? I'm in the house 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Can you but I'm safe. Her objective is to save lives and to protect the abused. Victims' rights laws, you know, they need to be enforced. Uh -huh. We have never seen enforcement by a lot of the law enforcement across the country. There needs to be more accountability. You know, that number is very low as to how many women have died a year because we don't have a national crime reporting category. That number is higher because all the murders and homicides are lumped together in one figure across this country. Susan tirelessly works to protect and represent abused and stalked women at no charge. Now that's a good price. Just goes to show real life can be nearly as scary as the movies. We're at a high risk agency. We're actually throughout the country. We happen to be based in Illinois and we take cases in other states. A woman who comes to us is usually someone who is almost in imminent danger of her life. She will be killed. She has been stalked. If you think of what a stalker is, a stalker is somebody who, in an animal-like person, who stalks the prey prior to the kill. I'm very angry. I think it's the pain women feel across the country. We still allow this to go on. Eight to ten women in this country are murdered by a boyfriend or by a husband. Rita Smith is with the National Domestic Violence Coalition. Susan Murphy Milano's organization is called Project Protect. They find safe havens and sometimes bodyguards for women who are on the run. Also with us, three women who escaped, Pat, Deanna, and Kelly. Susan and Rita help women design escape plans or war plans, as Susan calls them, used to slip away. Who, who would say, that seems to be obvious that you wouldn't tell them that you're leaving, but Susan, I guess some people do or don't. Well, they think that they're gonna go, ha, 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 I'm gonna show you and they blow their cover. He's got a plan of attack. She's got to have a plan of being safe. And being safe means doing things that are smart. It's like a diet plan. You yourself didn't go on a diet without having a plan, a change of lifestyle. Women across America have to do the same thing. And the plan doesn't work for everybody in the same way. But once you're on the plan and have a focus, yeah. an agenda, it's got to be for the rest of your life. Murphy Milano now spends her life helping other such women a lot of other such women. But not all advocates agree. And in the world of Susan Murphy Milano, whose life was changed by a man sworn to serve and protect, there is no compromise. Being terrorized by somebody just doesn't go away overnight. They live with it. So should the law be retroactive? Should any domestic abuse that he had in his past be grounds to take away his gun now? Yes, because you can't be half pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. And if he was ever convicted of domestic battery or domestic abuse, you take his gun away? Yes. 
Queen. Because where were her rights in all of this? Why the hell does the victim have to jump through hoops to save her life, which is in a lot of cases? Why? Our, our future, our children, the children of this country. I don't want my child to grow up in a world like this. I don't want anybody else's to either. Okay. Susan's a very special lady, but where does she get the money for, for bodyguards, apartments? She forcefully promotes her cause.